At Uganda's border with Kenya in Busia, business has slower than ahead of the elections that will take place tomorrow. Some of the traders we spoke to at the border say their election wave has affected their business because Kenyan clients are no longer crossing to Uganda to buy commodities. At the main entrance in Busia, traffic is still low and few people can be seen crossing the border. Meanwhile, on the other hand, the government of Uganda today confirmed that hundreds have been crossing to Uganda in the last couple of days ahead of the elections. We are experiencing uh, uh, an increased volume of traffic coming in from uh, Kenya, especially through Busia, Busia border and, um, and Wakaka. We have uh, these uh, volumes of traffic has increased uh, threefold. Uh, we do not know whether it is because of the, of the elections coming up uh, tomorrow in Kenya. While addressing journalists, today at the weekly security briefing at the police headquarters, the spokesperson of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, Simon Mundai, revealed that many Ugandans who have been working in Kenya have also returned to Uganda. These people coming in are uh, Ugandans who are returning, uh, to, uh, returning home. Because most of this work in Kenya, and normally when, whenever there is an election, I think they have some sense of fear. So some of them return home to first watch uh, the situation as it unfolds, then return after the elections. According to the police spokesperson, Fred Nanga, security has been beefed up at the border points ahead of the elections. We want to wish all Kenyans a very peaceful, safe and secure election. We are also happy that our counterparts, the security agencies in Kenya, are well prepared for the enforcement and policing of the elections there. Enanga says that Uganda is ready for any eventualities that may happen during and after the elections. Uh, although we do not anticipate any possibilities of civil unrest, as the joint security agencies, we continue to, play, to pay uh, close attention to the electoral climate in Kenya. As always, we have uh, contingency plans in case, in case of any potential scenarios uh, impacting our citizens. Meanwhile, business is slow for the people in the clearing and forwarding business at the Busia border. Musa Omolo, an agent, says the last two days have been a nightmare. Kenyans like Basil Etiang say that they are ready to go for the elections. Although we have two horses that are really competing seriously, they are very close, but we expect at least one will come victorious. Eh? Uh, and uh, our hope is that at least one gets 50 plus one. Michael Chibuika, the Busia Resident District Commissioner, says they are ready to maintain peace in case if the election goes sideways. The elections in Kenya are coming at the time when the country is still healing from the 2007-2008 post-election violence that left over 1,000 people dead. Tony Patila Humza, CTV, PM Edition.